Welcome to a FS19 mod review on the Ravenport map. Today we will be taking a look at a variety of mods including a few old cars, a pickup truck, semi truck, a few semi trailers, a tail handler, and a cone pack. All the mods are public and the links can be found down below in the description of today's review. Up first we will be taking a look at a 1968 Shelby GT500 when in the store it's located under the cars category. It costs $51,355. It is color changeable here. Along with it being color changeable, you do have the option here for a flathead V8 or a flatbed v, uh, 800 horsepower tune. Only two engine options here, 482 horsepower. When taking a close look at this, this is a very low stands, very wide car. It looks like it has some very nice wheels here on it. Amazing front end, take a look at that. I really do like these old uh, Shelbys, including uh, this year as well. This thing looks pretty awesome. All the chrome on it. And as you come around to back, quad exhaust with the Shelby there, which looks awesome. Once we hop here on the inside, at top speed at 93 miles per hour all of the lights do work here on this it is a very low car with some great engine sounds as well and that does look awesome now on the interior we do have working gauges and a working steering wheel as well pretty detailed here on the inside you guys can see it's a manual a ton of detail on the seats this thing looks awesome and I can't wait to feature this here in some videos we'll take this here for a quick spin I'm excited to be back here in FS19 doing a review. I'm trying to do a few of these a week here for you guys, showcasing awesome mods that are released in the community. It looks like there's a little bit of like lean into it, but very wide tires and great suspension as well. And I can't wait to see how this does on the track and on uh, back roads. Up next, we will be taking a look here at old Chevy Impala. This is a very nice old one. In the store, it's located here under the cars category, and it is $28,369. The only thing here is for it to be color changeable as well. And this looks to be a 1967 model year. It looks awesome, especially blacked out. You got these uh, very nice chrome wheels on it, and it is a four-door. Wow, I just realized that. It almost looked like a two-door, but that's okay. So once we hop here on the inside, all of the lights do work. On the interior, it's a pretty detailed here, roll up windows, and you guys can see this looks awesome. So we got working mirrors and a working steering wheel, and let's see, do the gauges work? Looks like no gauges work, but a ton of detail you guys can see. We'll take this car here for a quick spin to see how it handles. If you do have any cool mods you guys would like me to feature here in reviews, please let me know down below here in the comments. I will be moving to a new map here for the reviews shortly. I really want to find a map that does not cause any lag problems or anything like that, but wow, the handling of this is very nice. It is a bit quiet as well, but that is okay. I do also like having cars here in the game, and they are definitely nice to feature in a few videos. Up next, we will be taking a look here at a Ram Dually. In the store, it's located here under the cars. It's Ram 3500 Cummins Dually. It is not color changeable here, and it does take a little while for it to load here. You do have uh, different wheel options as well. You have stock or like these bigger semi wheels as well, which look awesome. Custom wheels, and it has 350 horsepower power. When taking a closer look at it, you guys can see we do the stock wheels here on it. Amazing front end. This looks to be the new design here of the Rams. And this looks to be the crew cab dually. We've got a toolbox headache rack there in the back. And we got a bumper pole and gooseneck hitch. No straps it seems to appear, but I really do like the look of this truck. On the inside, do, we do have a top speed of 93 miles per hour. It looks like we do have straps there on the bottom of the bed for which is great. And all the lights do work. Wow, amazing looking lights. We'll take a look at the ones on the front. I really do like the new way of lights in Farming Simulator. They do look quite a bit better. We do have working steering wheel and working mirrors. Looks like a radio and a pretty uh, nice interior.
If you do have any cool ideas here for me with these, please let me know down below here in the comments. I really do like featuring all these mods in videos, showcasing them and putting them to work around the farm or with another uh, series that we do. Overall, this is very nice handling. I do like the exhaust and the engine sounds as well. Up next, we will be taking a look here at a Kenworth T800 Sleeper. This is one very nice looking semi truck. It's located here under the trucks category. It costs forty thousand five hundred dollars for the main color we will set it to blue and then you could also change the fenders which is great 650 horsepower when taking a close look at it quite a lot of chrome all the way around you guys can see blue with black fenders take a look at all that chrome it's a very nice truck i do like this and i like the uh, look of this one as well all of the lights do work here on it which is great and turn signals everything like that this thing looks awesome on the interior we do have working gauges and a working steering wheel it's just a very very detailed and when you do turn the lights on all, all of the gauges light up as well which is great you guys can see a ton of detail here on the inside for the sleeper really do like this quite a lot up next we will be taking a look here at two semi trailers up first we will be taking a look here at this flatbed trailer the trail king and then we'll be taking a look here at this reefer trailer let's take a quick look at both of them in the store I really do like including this here for the store as well. It's a very nice. So Low King's forty-seven thousand dollars here, almost close to forty-eight. You guys can see it's a triaxle, no buyable options, and then the uh, fifty-three foot dry van. Uh, you guys can actually see you could change the tandems there on the back to spread axle or tandems, and you could also change from stock to have the extra things on the side for aerodynamics. Taking a closer look here at this trailer, you guys can see very nice looking wheels. This is very low to the ground, I will have to say, and quite a lot of straps on it. We'll get backed up and attached to it. Now this trailer was back in 17 as well. I really did like this trailer, I will have to say. I really do like this one quite a lot. And you guys can see the ramp does fold down there, which is great. We do have a ton of straps there. No locking scripts. And it looks like the other part cannot uh, fold. But you guys can see it has all of the lights work on it, which is great. Up next, we'll be taking a look here at the Reefer trailer, and this looks to be a brand new trailer, really good uh, quality for textures as well. We'll uh, press X to open up the back doors there, and you guys can see all the lights do work here on it, which is great, and it does have full straps there, take a look at that, pretty realistic as well. Up next, we will be taking a look here at a telehandler. In the store, it's located here under the uh, telehandler section. It's a cat telehandler, $58,300. No buy war options, 145 horsepower. When taking a close look at it, you guys can see this does have quite a lot of detail. We do have stabilizers up front, which will come in helpful. And you guys can see this does look nice. Sometimes when you're lifting heavy loads, they're just too heavy to lift with a front suspension. So that comes in handy. We'll actually put it down really quick. And you guys can see they go down. Actually, lift the wheel up off the ground. Uh, you do use the mouse controls here for these as well. And this does reach quite a bit further than the uh, in-game ones. So that could be why you need the stabilizers to help with that. And that's awesome, I will have to say, though. That <laughs> comes in handy. Let's see how high it can reach. Has a pretty high reach. We'll check out all the lights. Quite a lot of work lights. One beacon light. On the interior, we do have uh, a working steering wheel. And the hand is on. The uh, special thing there and that's awesome I mean this has great turning let's see if is there anything else we could do we could actually change the steering and that's awesome I really do like this quite a lot the final mod we'll be taking a look at here today is the placeable compact these were back in 17 and now they are here in 19 they are under the miss category now they are $50 for each one we got the traffic cone the channelizer and the barrel now you do actually have to place these through the placeable object and, that, and then you could kind of pick them up you guys can see you could pick it up put it in the back of the truck and it would be pretty awesome if they uh, kind of stayed upright as well but there you guys have it here for today 
today a very nice mod review on the Ravenport map. Check out all the mods. Thanks to all the modders for releasing these. Stay tuned for the next one. Have a great day and subscribe for more. Thank you.